Okay, so this is for the 27th through to the 3rd of July. Okay. Right. Okay, so we've got um, funny character, somebody who really makes you belly laugh, somebody who's very, very amusing. They, it's like they stir you up, they stir your personality up, um, they make you laugh, they make you, um, it, it's like that sort of character is coming into your life. Now that book could be somebody from your past or it could be somebody new. Now, obviously, for some of you, it's going to be somebody new and some of you, it'll be, um, you know, past. OK, um, this feels as if it's like um, you you've needed somebody like this to talk to. You've needed somebody refreshing, um, somebody who um, is, is able to understand where you're coming through with life, you know. Um, all that life has to offer okay so um, it could be that there has been a bit of a, a a dry spell where there has been nobody that understands you um, fully um, this person is coming into your life around the beginning of next week okay it's gonna really be um, good for you okay so then the middle of the week by the middle of the week, there's going to be a change in finances. I'm seeing some new money coming towards you or a new opportunity, something that you um, perhaps didn't understand that you was entitled to maybe. And it's like, oh, wow, okay, so I'm going to get that back. So that's good. Um, there is two um, kind of pathways forward linking to your uh, work situation as well. OK, so this could be, you know, if you're retired, this would mean opportunities to do something that you really want to do. OK, are you going to go in that direction or this direction? So there's going to be a swapping and changing about of um, the main job, really. So it could be your main job slows down and your kind of um, extra job um, comes in. OK, but there's going to be some changes there that are going to be um, thumbs up good for you. OK, the middle of the week, it's going to be links with the broader overseas more than usual. So you're going to be um, communicating, talking to somebody who is overseas. OK, um, and I feel this this will be the start of a new opportunity. This opportunity is going to be um, pretty good for you. OK, um, linking to money. OK, linking to money. Um, so the end of. OK, so the end of next week and um, by the end of next week, we've got new ideas coming in about what you're going to do. I'm seeing you juggling about with money. OK, juggling about with money and opportunities again. Um, there's a feeling of but I want what I want. Um, so it may be that you um, you feel as if you've got to be stubborn. OK, about getting what it is that you want. Maybe um, there's someone around you who's being stubborn about you changing what you want to do. OK, and do you follow your heart or your head? What do you do at this point? So um, some decisions coming this week. So it's going to be a very busy week for Leo's, I feel. Over to you, my love. Uh, there we go. <laughs> OK, hi, everyone. So uh, I'm using the Everyday Witch cards by uh, Deborah Blake and uh, Bear with me here. Uh, where is it? Where did it go? <laughs> oh, here it is. Okay. Because um, there's something I, I, I need to read to you about this. Um, the card I got for you guys, which includes my, my beautiful daughter, Britt, is plant the seeds. Okay, so... This could be a, an idea, a new beginning. It could be an herbal garden, right? Uh, the idea though is get the seed started. It's an, in many cases, it's an idea. There's something clicking, something's going on. You're like, you got that little light bulb popping above your head right now. So you're coming up with some brilliant ideas and you gotta start it, plant that seed. Um, Ellie can attest to this too. A lot of a lot of magic 
spells, you know, in uh, Wicca and uh, positive witchcraft involve herbs. So, what kind of what kind of spells do you want to create? You know, you're putting that intention. And what better herbs than ones that you grow yourself, right, to plant the seeds of? So you might look for specific herbs to attract love or money or, you know, that perfect job or whatever, you know. So maybe maybe grow your own herbs for your own uh, spells. What better herbs than the ones that have your energy in them and your positive love and intention? Lastly, remember to thank the plant when you clip it. Uh, and for the, for its herbs, course, now here's the part. Deborah Blake um, writes: when you when you're planting the seed, press it firmly in the soil, and say, "Element of Earth, receive these seeds, which I dedicate to positive magical work. Nurse them and strengthen them, and bless them with your power. So mote it be." So you're putting that positive affirmation into the seeds. You're getting amazing herbs, whether you're going to use them for cooking or, you know, some positive magic spells or whatever. Either way, you know, it's, it's going to be something that came from you. And as I mentioned, this might not be about planting an herbal garden, although it could be. Could be a new idea that you're kicking around. Could be many things. Could be a new beginning of something. Something big's going to happen for you guys, all, all of our Leo friends. So congratulations. It's going to be an exciting week. You started doing that nod. I did that <laughs> intentionally at the end. <laughs> so Rio's been trying to call me. I'm like, is it something urgent, darling? You know, <laughs> she's like, she sends me like like these this eyeball saying patiently waiting, mum. You know, for me to call her back. Sarcastic cow she is, my my. Yeah, the, the, is it the rolling eyeballs? Like yeah, it's like on, any day now. Yeah. Come on, mum. You know, yeah. it's like uh, so. Yeah, bless her, love her. Okay, so we're gonna do Sagittarius now. Okay. Saggy. Okay. Saggy. Okay. So Sagittarius, okay, who's the Sagittarius guys out there? Okay, so funny enough, I was shuffling and shuffling and shuffling with the intention of Sagittarius and the first three cards out were the first three cards out from um, the previous ones for Leos. So I'm going to give you the same message, um, but I've added in more cards because just in case about shuffling, but I don't think so. So I've got the funny character. Um, the quirky character, I got this person being somebody that you, um, with you guys, it's somebody that you have connected to in the past. This is a past life energy or something like that, okay, going on. Um, you two have um, had lots of belly laughs in the past, okay, lots of belly laughs in the past, so I feel um, there's that going on. Um, and um, there has been a time where you haven't spoken, but now you are, okay, so... Um, there you go. Um, I'm going to um, give a prediction for everybody. Um, there is going to be more and more people starting from this next week coming to you. People that laughed in your face about what was um, what was um, basically they said you were talking out of your ass um, about everything. And it's like, here we go again. You know, um, and I feel that in England is going to be uh, with these the masks back okay um, um there's going to be a, an agenda they'll see an agenda so watch out for people um that are coming back into your life because of that or speaking to you about it um and have questions about it okay um so that is coming up um so this is either the beginning or the middle of um next week for um sagittarius um study um, study learning and research going on with you guys study learning and research um, there seems to be a lot um, that is going on um, in regards to um, it's like um, 
I want to learn something. I want to open my mind up. You know, they're going to be delving into all sorts of different kind of, um, you know, topics, that sort of thing. So lots of that is going to be happening um, with yourself, um, Sagittarians, okay? Um, it does feel as if there is a bit of rejection coming your way, I'm afraid, um, or you're going to have to reject someone else. So um, because I'm reading for... Um, you know a lot of people does that make sense rather than it being one person I have to kind of give both angles here um, so it could be you being rejected okay or you having to reject another um, there seems to be somebody who's got a bit of a sting in their tail this person is kind of coming back to you with um, some sort of sharp comment or um, something negative coming back um, at you and this is going to be um, you know, taking you out of um, action for a little bit to kind of rethink things. Um, there seems to be a lot of misunderstandings happening at the moment around. So watch out for those. Um, try to make um, whatever you're doing very clear. Um, make it as clear as possible because of these misunderstandings. It's just an energy that's going about at the moment. Um, every now and again, we get this. Okay, it's like a dark energy, um, and it's like wanting everybody to be falling out with people. Okay, so just be aware of that. Put your shields up, put your barriers up, and put your protection up. Quickest protection that you can do is put yourself in the middle of a bubble or a crystal ball. Okay, it's really important that you do this right now. Um, especially at this time. Um, I've then got um, taking charge, okay, by the middle to the end of the week, taking charge, kicking ass, you're not going to be holding back now, you've got um, a vision of where you want to go, what you want to do, um, no one's going to talk you out of it or stop you, um, because you know what you're doing, okay. Um, I feel that there's a little bit of professionalism um, in your attitude at the moment, so you're not just kind of randomly pushing forward without um, having a plan. Okay, so this is going to be um, pretty, pretty awesome time for you guys. And just to finish it off, because obviously you've got the extra cards in as well. Um, we've got that leap of faith, taking that leap of faith, you're going to be starting something, um, I would say by the end of the week that is going to shock other people, or going to surprise other people or other people will be, wow, you've actually done it. You said you were going to do it and now you've done it okay you've actually started it or you've actually so it's going to be a lot of surprised energy but you're going to feel very proud of yourself as well um, um because you you're really pushing yourself past your comfort zone but you're doing it in a way that really makes your heart sing okay you're ready okay so there you go that's what i see for oops <laughs> I meant to hit remove from solo layout and I just hit remove from stream. <laughs> Sorry about that, hon. All right, my darling. Oh, God. Now get the hell out of here. All right, I'm going. <laughs> Bye. Uh, well, I too got the same card. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what I got for you guys, uh, all of our Sag friends. Um, I got, I drew the card for healing waters. And as you guys know, water is very healing. You know, it's been used to anoint um, people and, 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 and healings. Um, what I'm getting from this card though, is that you can do a water meditation. Cause what I'm feeling is there's something, some of you guys out there might be experiencing some kind of ailments or aches or pains or something like that and you got so much power behind you to heal yourself and you can do that through a water meditation and there's some really cool things that you can do as well um, but you you, uh, you may want to take a you know a bath or a shower or just go out in the rain you know right now it's raining outside we got a thunderstorm i wouldn't recommend going out in the thunder but just uh, go out in the rain and cleanse yourself you know and water is nourishing it, it helps to uh provide new beginnings especially in arid uh climates um what what deborah blake recommends is to take some water preferably rainwater or some well water but you can use tap water and put in some amethyst or quartz crystal you can put both in if you have them 
put that into the water with a uh, sprig of rosemary and leave it out in the moonlight and just bring it out in the moonlight for one to three days. I know right now we're in a new moon right now, but um, one to three days in the moonlight. And it could be any, could even be a crescent moon. It doesn't have to be a full moon, but one to three days in that moon. And if you can't bring it outside, you can place it on your windowsill also. And uh, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adding that water just a little, you don't need a lot of it and put that, 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 and those intentions into the water, whatever you want it to do, but it's mainly going to be used for healing this, this particular one. Uh, and just put a little into your bathtub when you're taking a bath uh, and it'll supercharge that, that water. Or what you can do is put some on your face and rub your face and hands with it and just envision that it's, it's helping you glow. It's, 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 illuminating you basically so uh th that's that's what i got for you guys um to work with water this week this is your opportunity to create some real magic oh thank you i was just trying to find <laughs> it <laughs> um so ria's in the chat say hi to ria hi ria in the chat <laughs> <laughs> um, stop she... Stop rolling your eyes at your mother. Yeah, she's the <laughs> one that went, oh, I'm waiting, waiting for you to call back. And I was yep. on here. I'm sorry, Rhea. I'm sorry, my love. Um, oh, and thank you, Rhea, for keeping on top of my Instagram page when I'm not able to do that. Uh, I really, really appreciate that. Oh, she's brilliant. She's very good on Instagram. She knows her stuff. Bless her. She does. She does. Well, she does faff, she said. Well, she does faff. I do a bit. Yeah. But I'm not today. Yeah. So water signs are not going to be until the third section. So it probably be well before you go to bed, I would think. Well, after you've gone to bed, sorry. Yeah. Yes, Sarah, I'll put you in for the free raffle. Sarah, Anu, you're number 22. So if anybody Two. else wants to join in the raffle, just say uh, raffle, please, and I'll add you to it. When you said 22, we had 44 people watching. So that's 22 times two, the two, yeah. two, two, yeah. the two thing that's going on for this year, the yep. twin flame two. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, send me any other content and I'll do more, she said. So you've got a sale on at the moment, so... Thank you. Oh, it's Teresa. Hi, Teresa. So it's it's Ria's mother-in-law as well um, on there as well. So hi, Teresa, family. You didn't get hi. to meet um, Craig's mum and dad, did you, when you came here? So hopefully next time. Yeah, I did at the bar. Oh, you did? We yes, you did. We all went for the head and stag do. Yes. Yes, you met Teresa. Yeah. So Lacey Harter, uh, you are number 23. You're in for the free raffle there. Okay. All right. So, um, right. so right, we're doing Aries now, aren't we? Aries, okay. indeed. So Aries, let's have a look and see what's going on with Aries. Okay. So let's have a look. Aries. So any other Aries out there? I know we've got our Vera. She's an Aries. Anyone else? Okay. So the beginning of the week um, for Aries, um, we've got a lot of decorating or changes in the house. Um, could be rearranging uh, for some of you. It may even be moving. OK, for others, it will be just sorting out, um, you know, the home, you know, going through cupboards, drawers, um, rearranging things, chucking away stuff that you don't really need anymore. So um, there's all of that going on there. You're also going to be trying things you've never done before. So it could be that you've never done any decorating before or DIY and you're going to just have a go. Um, so there's going to be new beginnings there. Um, for some of you, I feel as if you will be going somewhere that you've never been. 
Okay, so this seems to be kind of adventures, going on adventures, seeing um, and experiencing different things in, in life, really. It's like a one-off, you know, stuff that you want to do on your bucket list type of thing. That Bucket lists are not just for people who are going to be passing away tomorrow. Bucket lists are for people who want to experience life and want to kind of, um, so we should all have a bucket list, um, all things that we want to do before we we meet our maker. So, you know, yeah um the judgment card is there so it's all about breaking free from other people's comments or judgments now i've seen a lot of them i've actually started to add on um my facebook page all of these little memes and things that are coming up and little story reels about people um becoming more spiritually aware um, I don't know if you've seen, there's a lady on there and um, she's basically singing a beautiful song. Um, it's a Frozen song or it's um, Encanto, Encanto song. Um, she's singing it and um, she's got the words to the song, but she's also got at the top um, messages of if you are watching this and commenting on the fact that my um, my hair needs colouring or the, my gap in my tooth needs sorting out or um, this or that, then I'm going to send you lots of love because um, basically you're missing the point of life. If you want to do those things, then you do them, but don't chuck that on me. It was said in a really spiritual way, though, so I'm crucifying it. So have a look on my Facebook page on Alison James. Um, you'll see it on there. That and, and it's like another way of awakening. People are awakening more. It's not just about the image of somebody. It's about what's in their heart. It's about how people, um, you know, show themselves the world so so anyway um watch out for that we are breaking free from this 3d kind of you know judgmental energy okay we're looking now at how people's heart is okay that's what's going on um so watch out for it i mean greg has said that he's noticing that lots of grown-up people are, are without any kids there are making sandcastles um flying kites and things like that and and that is like it's, it's letting your inner child out um but unless we so please if you see anything that is kind of spiritually awakening please share it and say the awakening has begun okay um point out anything that is awakening because people who don't know it's awakening will then say well what's awakening just sort of mean so you you may be helping with people um growing okay um there's going to be a lot of outspoken words i'm afraid around the middle of the week so going from being awakened to i'm going to give you what i think um unfortunately someone's going to be asking you how you feel okay and uh, you're going to tell them how you feel okay you might be telling them you know from deep from within emotionally you might be saying I didn't appreciate you doing this to me um, but it's all about um, sticking up for that inner child energy okay that's going on um, lots of brilliant ideas are going to be coming in though lots of ideas about what you're going to do how you're going to do it um, there's lots lots of um, interesting kind of um, it's like being quirky um, in, in the fact that I'm going to do um, so much more with my time now. Um, I was doing this, but now I'm going to do this and I'm excited about it. So it's getting fired up about um, what you're doing. OK, so then the end of the week, end of the week, there's love on its way. OK, so for some of you, there's going to be um, new beginnings with love. Um, so obviously, I'm not going to say that everybody's going to fall in love um, who is a, an Aries. Um, you might already have a partner and be very cross that I'm saying that. Um, so, um, but for some of you, there is going to be new love, okay? Um, somebody who really does see you. Um, I love the film Avatar. When they look at each other and they say, I see you. That word, I see you. That to me is as strong as I love you. Um, it brings tears to your eyes, that emotion. So there's going to be some of that going on. OK, and that could be in the form of um, for people who are already in a relationship, that could be in the form of um, um, friendship. 
um, or deepening um, energy within an existing relationship. Or it could be, um, you know, somebody completely new. Um, and that could be a friend, you know, or or a partner. So watch out for these new awakened people coming into your life. It's all coming. Uh, now, the Wheel of Fortune, the Wheel of Fortune basically indicates uh, that change is coming. And these you're going to see a lot of changes in the news. You're going to see a lot of changes. This week is going to be full of awakening moments. Um, watch out for um, all the news reports and things Um it's um, there is some truth coming in, um, some revealing stuff coming in and watch out for it. Um, and please share as much as you can. OK, so there you go. That's what I see for Aries and others. T Tina's saying uh, the guy I've got my eye on is an Aries. And he said love is in the air. So there you go. Who knows? There right? you go. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. With that. Yeah, we're hoping we, we're we're pulling for you. So uh, Vera said, I'm telling my kitty to eat a kibble so she can come live with me. See, that's love. That's love, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Over to you, darling. All right. So for our Aries friends and family, <clears throat> excuse me, got to clear my throat. Real the card I got for you guys is gratitude and thanks. So what I'm getting on this is that maybe, you know, this would, we, we've got, you know, a lot going on with, uh, you know, holidays are coming up uh, here. And I know this is leading up to July 3rd, but here in the United States, July 4th is holiday, national holiday. And, uh, some of you might be preparing for work or you might have um, guests coming over, planning for a big party, and you're feeling overwhelmed right now. And uh, now's the time to stop and actually look at the big picture. You know, number one, you're grateful that you have that job that you can work and you know, that hopefully you enjoy doing or number two, that you have enough friends and family coming over that you're going to be able to spend a, a really special day with things you can be grateful for would be like, like, for example, what if you're having like body issues, you know, oh, you, you know, you, you got like, I don't know, a bum leg or, you know, uh, scratch cornea or something like that right now. Um, be thankful for the body parts that are working correctly right now. You know, Ellie posted a, a video today about, you know, what body image can be like for some people and it can be challenging for some people. And the thing we don't see or many people don't see is that inner spark that everyone has that makes everyone beautiful just the way you are, despite any of those imperfect imperfections, right? Or perfect imperfections, right? Um, so, you know, be grateful for what you have and, you know, and the parts that are working. If, if you're, if you're broke, many of us, myself included, we're living, you know, paycheck to paycheck, you know, be grateful for what you have, you know, I've got a roof over my head, you know, I've got a beautiful wife, a beautiful daughter, wonderful family, you know, there's many things to be grateful for, you know, uh, and be grateful for the people that are with you through the good and bad, the, the experiences that you've had. So this card is a reminder to say thank you, to express your gratitude uh, out there. And it's important to remember that attitude of gratitude. And what you'll see is that what you put out will come back to you tenfold anyway. So it's a win-win for everyone. Okay. 
is a sexy man. <laughs> <laughs> we have to find that person that broke into our stream yard and ban that person <laughs> for putting up such a ridiculous I statement. I don't know how that got there, darling. I really don't. I'm so no sorry. No idea. Oh, no. Wow. Yeah, really, really bad. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> um, so, um, so, yeah, I'm sorry. I just had to, had to do that. And thank you, Sarah. She said, that's beautiful, Greg, about body image. My respect for you just grew Definitely. a bit more. I need to watch that video. Yeah. Um, it's the guy. It's the guy who's talking on there, and basically he's saying that everybody has a sexy, um, vibrant side. Everybody, and that you, it's like getting getting that out there. I mean, when for Greg at first kind of was interested in me, I was thinking, there's no way he'd be interested in me. Size of my ass, you know, my wobbly bits and everything. He's not going to be interested in me. I was like oh no it's just not happening this guy's just taking the mickey now um so there is somebody for everybody and i think i'm a big lady and i've got this guy this 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 man look how lucky i am so yeah and um he loves my wobbly bits i do i do and I, i've said this many times and i i stand by it too as beautiful as you are on the outside, you're even more beautiful inside. Your your heart is just so freaking beautiful, honey. Thank you, darling. It's true, one hundred percent. Everyone knows that and sees it. So, yeah, I'm 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 really lucky, and I'm very grateful. I'm lucky too. I'm lucky uh, too. Thank you, my love. Um, what do we do? Do we carry on with the astrology, or what do we do? Because if we don't, we're going to miss the people in England. That's true. Yeah. What do you think then? Should we continue? If you want to, yeah. You all right with yeah. that? <laughs> what do you you guys think? You guys Ju want that? Juicy, juicy bits are the best. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I walk with a walking stick, you know? I have to use a, a walking trolley. I sometimes have okay. to use a scooter, mobility scooter. I remember the first time we went to Glastonbury, I was trying so hard to walk it. My mum was on her scooter and I went, I, I can't do this. And I was nearly in tears with the fact that Greg had to see me on a scooter. I was like mortified. You know, and this is what love is all about. You saw me at some of my, I had a stoma sticking out of my stomach. I had, I had a crap into a bag. And that's not pretty, but it was part of what I had to experience. Your mom has to experience that. So my heart goes out to her as well, you know, and I know exactly what it's like to be in that position. You know, I've had two major surgeries uh, going on and I've been sickly a couple times and you stood by me the entire time, just loving me, 100%. loving me. With, yeah. It's a no brainer and, when you love somebody unconditionally, it means unconditionally doesn't yeah. it yeah yeah oh here's mum she's turned up now uh, hi mama hi mum <laughs> yeah yeah so you, you mentioned your name just now <laughs> i know i know well oh, you know she is you know that's that's one of the things that ties us all together you know she says thanks son for your love no oh, thank you for birthing my wife <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so we're going to carry on with the astrology. So uh, okay. second on the list was the air signs. Then we're going to do the water signs, then the earth signs. Okay, so um, the next one we're going to be doing is Aquarius. So we will do Aquarius and then Gemini and then Libra. Okay. Um, so we'll do those first. So she's psychic. See, my mum is psychic. She is. And I love her very much. I would love to do astrology with you, Mum, on here. We've got to do it one Sunday. I'll come round to you, um, and we'll go live from your house. I, I just would love to. You guys, I would think love I would. I think everybody would love to see that mother and daughter doing astrology yep. together. Oh, that'd yep. be great. You got to do um, it, Mum. We're doing it next Sunday, Mum. That's what we're doing next Sunday. I've just roped you in. She's put lots of hearts, so I think that's a yes. Yep, we're going to do it from your place. 
yeah she's got yeah okay fabulous all right so hi linda winger hello all right so we're going to do aquarius let's have a look um 27th of june to the 3rd of july okay okay So who's Aquarius out there? All right. Starting first card out for you Aquarius people. The sun. Woohoo! The sun, followed by eight of wands, which is rushing ahead, going forward, along with the prince of wands, um, which is um, it's kind of Leo energy. Um, sometimes Leos, they get bored easily. OK, so I'm sensing a boredom moment, um, something that is making you bored or restless. Um, it's rushing ahead, um, rushing forward. OK, with a project. Um, I feel that you want to get on. OK, there's a project that you've got. Um, you want to get on. There have been obstacles or delays. Um, and this is all linked with um, this could be from decorating your living room to following your life path okay but there's something that you are needing to get on and do okay now there is going to be a breakthrough happening um that that obstacle is now no more it's going to stop around the beginning of next week aquarius and you are able to go forward okay it's like here we go the floodgates open and off we go OK, so it's after being held back, sometimes gives you that best um, energy surge. OK, that you're you're going to need. Followed by my I've done it card, six of wands, ace of wands, boredom, restlessness and the moon psychic ability. OK, so um, there is going to be um, a lot of people say, well done, congratulations. Fantastic. You've done it. Um, it's like um, an, if you're doing any exams, then the exam is, yes, you've got through or yes, you've got the news that you've been wanting. Um, it's all all yes. And it's um, but it's now it's like I've got to um, I've got a lot ahead of me. I've got so much now to do. OK, so it's all to do with kind of, you know, organization and making sure that everything is is in order okay so um there's a lot of psychic ability around you a lot of kind of just knowing um i don't know why i just know this is what's going to happen um this is what's going on okay it's just i just know and the end of next week um uh, for aquarius um there's going to be a bit of a windfall okay financially um, you've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is financial security, something going really right. OK, Ten of Pentacles, um, somebody from your past coming in, um, you know, this person coming back into your life who is um, who's been feeling a little bit, um, you know, it's it's like, um, you know, you might have been estranged. Does that make sense? You might have been, you know, not able to speak or communicate, but then they're back um, in your life. Um, and with that, there seems to be some, it's like you winning something or, you know, financially things going really well for you. Okay. Um, so look out for that. It could be that you've had the opportunity to do something that is going to gain you more money or, um, you know, could potentially start the ball rolling with something really good. OK, um, you've got the temperance card with it. Um, the temperance card is about balance. The balance has been restored and everything seems to be back on track. OK, after being a little bit out of sync. OK, especially in your emotional life. Um, so ambitiously, everything has been on hold and now it's flowing emotionally. Everything's been a little bit um, stagnant. And then here we go. Um, so there, that's what I see for Aquarius. Over to you. We, we can't hear you, darling. I don't know if you're on, on mute. There. Okay. So to our Aquarius friends, which would include my sister, Tara, 
uh, the card that I have for you guys is to follow your dreams. You know, what are, what are your dreams? Do you want to have a successful career? Would you like to be a rock guitarist? Do you want to be a organ grinder with a monkey on your shoulder? Whatever it is you want. <laughs> you, who knows? Whatever it is you want, you can, you can attain. But the first step is taking that first step. Don't make it just a dream. Make it reality. So to our Aquarius, Aquarius friends out there, there you, you've been dreaming about something for a long time. It's time to step into action. It's time to own that dream and what you need to do. And I hate saying you need to, but I, I, I mean it this time because I want to see you get your dreams. And what you need to do is to take that first step forward do something about it if you want to be that a rock guitarist in a band you don't even have to buy lessons anymore you can go on youtube and take free lessons but just do it take that first step and that's what you're being encouraged to do this week follow your dreams but don't just dream it, make it happen. That was quick. Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty easy, that one. I thought yeah. I had a little bit longer. I was going to nip out to the kitchen and get something well, else. Actually, well, you know, um, one last thing I could add to that is that what you can do is if you have a specific dream too, you can write it down on a piece of paper. And if you're, you can have like a, a little fire or if you're at a bonfire, maybe, you know, in the summertime, a lot of people have bonfires, just throw it in there. Uh, and just as the spark, sparks get carried out and that envision those, those little sparks of your, your dream being carried out to the universe. And it's just a little uh, positive magic that you can do to help your dream come to fruition. It's happening. It's happening. There's a good energy. I think next week there's such good energy. The energy vibes are really, really high for starting new projects. Um, the projects could be decorating your home. They could be um, starting that little business of yours. It could be, I don't know, developing something that you've always wanted to develop. It's, it's like, you know, hobby. Um, the, those starts of new things is really, really ramping up. It's a new moon right now, too. So it's the perfect time for that new beginning. Yeah. yeah. I'm very yeah. excited for you guys this week. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Don't delay. Don't take this opportunity next week. It's going to be great. Okay. So we're going to do Gemini now. Okay. okay. Gemininians. Gemininians, are, <laughs> he made that word up, Gemininians. Okay. So Linda, hi lovelies, just popping in to say hi and sending love and hugs. I cannot hear over the music. I'm in the street church missionaries in the park. Oh, have a lovely time, Linda. Oh, okay. Oh, cards flying everywhere. Okay, so Gemininians, here we go. 27th through to the 3rd of July. Okay. So any Geminis out there? Right. Okay. So, so we've got, um, changes in the home again so there's obviously lots of people who are starting new projects starting new um new things okay getting excited about maybe their home again after feeling a little bit mm, about it you know it's like yeah i want to get sorted i want everything to be um you know the best that it can be okay um so that's what I see for, for, for the beginning of the week. It's, it's all about that from chaos into organization. Okay. Wish I had that in my sign. <laughs> the place really does need sorting out. Okay. So, um, so taking charge. Okay. So we've got that for, forward thinking. 
Okay, so you're making a plan. Um, I'm seeing the stepping stones have all been put into place and you now are going forward, okay? It's like your vision um, has been a bit foggy, but now it's going forward. And I think this is on a lot of people. There's been a lot of things that have, you know, you've wanted to get started on, but haven't been able to. Um, and that's because the atmosphere energy has been all wrong, out of kilt. Um, but now it'll, it's um, a lot different, okay? And you'll feel that um, this week, okay? You will feel it. Okay, um, um, there seems to be a tearful person around at the beginning of the week, somebody who needs a hug, uh, somebody who needs you to, um, you know, understand them, listen to them. Um, I'm picking up on someone um, around who's got a child, um, and this child, they desperately need somebody to ask them what's wrong with them at the right time maybe when they're on their own okay because i'm picking up um some horrible things i'm afraid around a child um now this doesn't have to stay with gemini's um this can be um other uh, birth signs as well so please if you get the chance to speak um to a young one can you please ask them what the matter is? Are they happy? Is there anything that's frightening them? Is there anything that they want to tell you? You know, and don't just stop at once. Does that make sense? It feels as if this person needs somebody to trust. Um, so um, I just got that rushed through there. So please, um, please listen to th those young ones. Um, there's there's one of you that will will need to help uh, this little little one okay oh take that away now thank you okay so the middle of the week um the middle of the week it's come on bring it on so i feel as if there is a lot of um energy to do with um it's like universe um universe now bring me something that i'm gonna um get fired up about bring me something that is gonna um, you know, excite me, it's gonna, you know, so it's like you're looking for that challenge, um, that not, not a challenge that is, um, chucked on you at work, does that make sense, and, um, getting someone else money, um, this is something for yourself, and I feel that that is going to be starting up around, I would say, the middle of next week, um, there is going to be a lot of dissecting and sorting out in your head to see if this is possible to go ahead with it, um, and I feel also um, that there is, um, it's like everything has to be done just right. Okay, so it's like you don't just want to do this um, challenge, but you want it to be perfect. Okay, as well. The end of the week, end of the week, there's going to be quite a good finalizing. Okay, um, finalizing of, of certain things. It's like, well, that's finished that and and that's finished that and that's going to start and then this is finished so there's going to be finishing and, and starting finishing and starting um energy there okay there's also someone around you who you no longer want to have a conversation with at all um it's like i'm done i have nothing more to say to you um i've i'm finished okay so i'm afraid there's a bit of a fallout going on um, um but this person does deserve you falling out with them that's all I'm going to say. They do deserve it. Make sure it's not a misunderstanding, though. Um, if it is a misunderstanding, make sure get before you do this, get to the bottom of what's happened uh, before you react, though. OK, um, so just think about it. OK, um, because there is a lot of misunderstandings happening. There has been last week. It's a universal energy. I'm picking up in readings. I'm picking up all over the place. So. Um, so, yeah. The dark side is trying to get to us. The dark side is trying to separate and divide, um, you know, with the truthers as well. There's a lot of that going on. I cannot stand it. Um, stop calling people out. It just doesn't help. It doesn't help the whole situation because one truther, they're going to get through to some people. There might be 20 percent of what they're saying is no good. Does it really matter at the end of the day? Because they have awoken the 80 percent they've woken to the eight so anyway i can get on my high horse about it anyway so um it's like just be kind 
and it just because your opinion is I don't like that person or I don't like this person it, it doesn't matter it really doesn't matter just don't watch them don't don't be around them it doesn't matter um so yeah just it just pull away it just feels as if so there's if going to be somebody you're going to be pulling away from the end of the week uh Geminians. so um galactic goddess says i asked my son yesterday because he seems so sad he's living with his dad oh galactic goddess i'm i'm glad that you asked him though because i do you feel that there is there's something I don't think it's necessarily you that I'm picking up on but the because the other thing that I was picking up on was really bad um I didn't like what I was picking up on um and I had to get them to take it away um so but you know you know it doesn't hurt to ask these little ones and not actually give them the time of day to to so that they've got something to speak about it might just be a bit about bullying at school or it might be about you know they're scared about going into a new school if they're going to new schools things like that you know um yeah you're on mute darling <laughs> you said you were getting on your high horse yeah was your horse high you're... do you not have that yeah you don't have that in... no we do I'm just oh kidding. you do <laughs> was was your high horse on a soapbox Probably, yeah, 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 and high. <laughs> and high. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I'm she sorry. said, I suspected that, though. Um, in which case, then you might need to do some delving. I'm sorry. Yeah. Sending lots of love. To my Geminian friends. Howdy. The card I got for you guys is Earth Magic, Earth Magic, and there's lots you can do right now. Um, what I'm getting though for Earth Magic is there's a, especially here in the states, like I mentioned before, we have a uh, holidays coming up. A lot of people might be stressed out. You're planning things. You might have to do a lot of work. Find that time to ground this week. You guys are going to need that. Okay. Take the time to smell the roses too. Uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to work with the earth magic this week. What you can do, go outside. And this is a recommendation from, from Deborah Blake. She says to go outside and pick up the first rock that catches your eye and look for shapes or symbols within that rock because there's a message that you're going to get. And if you don't want to do that, just go look at some of your quartz crystals that have inclusions in them, like little cracks in them, right? And just spin it and look around inside of it, see what kind of message you can get. Another thing I'm getting for you guys is you know with earth magic th this is the earth magic i do i i go on a, a walk of gratitude and all you got to do is go to n5d.com type in walk of gratitude and greg g-r-e-g-g -G, in the search bar and it should be like one of the first things that pops up in there you'll find out exactly what I say on my walk of gratitude. And I encourage you to do the same thing, but change it if you want. For example, I invite my posse to join me and then I add Ho'oponopono and I put my positive thoughts and intentions in it. I do this at the beach, earth magic, right? My posse is creator, source, universe, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self and mother earth now if you want to include uh archangels uh, jesus or buddha or whoever you want to include in your posse change it add them do you want to take away galactic neighbors and friends do it make it yours own it after i do that i do ho'oponopono uh, which is the hawaiian code for forgiveness and i incorporate that into my walk of gratitude 
Um, so I go, dear creator source, my posse, thank you for your unconditional love, safety, support, protection, and abundance in everything that's good in life, as I promise to listen with open eyes, ears, mind, and heart. Now, I say abundance in everything that's good in life because you just don't want to say abundance. You got to be more specific than that because you can get a, an abundance of shit. <laughs> you don't want that. So I, I said, that's the thank you part. I'm, well, actually, I say, I'm sorry if I don't say this as often as I should. Please forgive me. So I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Thank you for your unconditional love, safety, support. And more than anything, I love you. And while I have the attention of my entire posse, I ask them to help me turn on all the beneficial codons in my RNA and DNA so I can heal myself and others in humanity's best interest. Now, whatever it is that you Geminians are going to be feeling that you might need, you can use this earth magic to your benefit too. So put that out there. Like I said, check it out on N5D, the, the, the walk of gratitude that I do. Make it your own. You know, you, it doesn't have to be at a beach. It could be in a forest. It could be at a park, a local park, preferably outside in nature, because that's what it's about, earth magic. And if you can't, you, say you live in a city and, you know, it's, it's concrete all around, but you have some gemstones, just put a, a gemstone in your hand and close your eyes and envision that. So, looks like Ellie stepped away right now. But that's that's what I got for you guys. Um, so create that earth magic. Get it? You there? There you well, are. I was just boiling my kettle, so I just need to couple oh. more seconds. Yeah. I'm good. Just... I'm good. It's done. Okay. Good. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. If you do feel the urge to place the crystal in the earth, I think it really there's a real reason for it. Mm -hmm. it might seem completely random. Um, Hi to Lori and Mark. Thank you for joining us. Hello. Okay, so we're going into your favorite now. <clears throat> We've been Libra. waiting. Everybody's been waiting all day for this one. Everybody. Of course they have. Libras have. I've got rising Libra. That always makes me giggle every time I say it. <laughs> yeah, you do. Yes, you do. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> On that note, as my mum and my daughter are watching, um, we're going to oh, go straight into yes. Libra. <laughs> it's just wrong, isn't it? On so many levels. No, it isn't. <laughs> it's perfect. <clears throat> okay. Let's have a look about Libras then. What's going on with Libras? So if anybody wants to join in to the free raffle, okay, the free raffle is just for anybody who is um, hanging out here um, with us um, throughout the night. Um, if you're hanging out with us, then you're going to go into um, like write your name down <clears throat> and I'm going to pick out some um, three prizes. One, the first prize, and it's, this is free, it's just for hanging out. Um, so the first prize is going to be um, a 30 minute reading with me that you can have yourself or you can gift to someone else. Um, or there are two other mystery gifts as well. So if anybody wants to join in, just say raffle, please. And I will put you down um, on this um, free raffle. OK, so Libras. OK. <clears throat> Still hanging, uninsurable. <clears throat> Sorry, got tickling me throat today. Ah, oh, mum's still here. Love you, mama. So watch out for me and mum doing um, the astrology next week. So we're, it'll probably be around 8 p.m. UK time, which is 3 p.m. <coughs> sorry, <coughs> 3 p.m. Eastern, um, which will be 12 p.m. Pacific time. OK, so we'll do that 8 p.m. Um, we'll be doing the astrology and it will be with me and my mum. I'm just writing that down. There we go. Um, so Sherry Taylor. Okay. So you're number 24. 
so yeah it's as easy as that just tell me that you want to be part of the raffle um and i will put you down okay do you want is she yeah she will carla probably um carla do you want me to put you down anybody um let me know if you want me to put add you to the raffle okay so um we're going into um libra So Libra, contentment, a feeling of this is who I am and I'm happy with who I am. Okay, so something good is going on here, okay, with you. Okay, it's that it's that feeling of I know who I am. And if you don't like that, then that's your problem and not mine. Okay, so that energy. Um, you've got the Empress card, which is about a female who is... Um, you know around you it could be your direct mum it could be a motherly character uh, somebody who mothers or nurtures it could be you um bringing out that side of your of, of yourself um and then we have the um scorpio which is a sting in the tail um somebody who can um be intense but they've got a sting so looking at these three cards i would say that the beginning of the week starts with um a good feeling of i i know who i am this is who I am, like it or not, this is who I am. Um, you're finding out just how much you do nurture others and how much love and energy you can give um, to other people is going to be really strong. OK, it's like a um, it's like you're going to show that part of yourself the beginning of the week um, and other people are going to be noticing. Um, I can see that there's someone around you who can be a little bit um feisty energy okay i'm seeing around and um, this person can be a bit dismissive of your acts of kindness um as you're trying to um care for them or nurture them there may be a bit of rejection going on there and it's like what do i do do i continually um just pull away or do i leave it open and say hey you know i'm here if you want want that love that i've just offered but if you don't that's okay as well Okay, so Ace of Cups, Prince of Wands, and the Six of Wands. Okay, so um, celebration of achievement. There's going to be a lot of people who are saying, wow, you did it. Great news. This is brilliant. Fantastic. Okay, so there's something that is, is good that is going on that is going to um, amaze yourself. It's like, I've I can't believe that I've done this, you know. I said I was going to do it and I did it, okay. It's an overflowing of love, okay, that you've sent out. So I feel this is all to do with the beginning of the week energy. Um, maybe you've um, put a hand out and helped somebody who you knew was probably going to reject you, um, but at least you know that you've done it. At least you know that you have kind of said, hey, you know, I'm here. Um, so, yeah, that that is something to be proud of. OK, um, it's going to be um, good and seen um, to be good. You know, when you review back your life and you think I've done I've done everything I could possibly do there. Um, so there's a little bit of secrecy energy here um, and the secrecy energy is linking around meeting somebody new, but not telling anybody else about it keeping that to yourself, okay? Now, that could be for many different reasons. It could be because people around you are a bit nosy or because they um, tend to um, get involved with things that perhaps they shouldn't be involved with. Um, it could be that there's some issues going on um, and it's best just to keep that side of things quiet, okay? I feel that you'll deal with it in your own way. You know, I've met somebody, but I don't want to tell anybody um, too much about it. Um, you know, it's all going to be secret at the moment. So it's a secret new attraction. And that could be a friendship or it could be something more. For some of you, it'll be friendship. For some of you, it'll be more. OK, so that's what I see for for Libras. OK, so we are now going to be going on to the water signs after Greg's done um, his side of um, the Libra energy. Okay, Galactic, my boys have never been truly happy the other, uh, the every other week they are at their father's house. My 18-year-old has had a falling out with his father and is permanently moving out. 
Oh, I'm sorry about that, Sherry. Um, I've seen you guys with the for the raffle. Okay, let's go back. Um, there was um, divination, 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 twenty-five. Nation. I know it was divine nation. I, I, I screwed you up by thinking it could be divination. Yeah. I thought it might have been a play on words. And Gypsy J, JJ, raffle, mm -hmm. please. You you are number twenty six, Gypsy JJ. Okay. Yeah. Just so grateful for everyone just joining us here. Thank you. Thank for you for being with us, spending your Sunday you. with us. Yep. Thank yeah. you. So. All right, my fellow Libras. This is the most appropriate card I could have drew for us. And it's, you know, with Libra being the air sign, I drew air magic. Perfect card for us. So what this tells me is that I can tell you from experience, and I'm not sure if I'm speaking on behalf of most Libras. I'm a triple Libra, so I shallow breathe. I don't, I don't do that deep breathing as often as I should. And I think this card is a reminder, not just for me, it's for all of us to remember to deep breathe. Sarah Randall tells me that. You know, she's right. She's 100% right. The importance of breathing in, holding it, exhaling. In the four agreements, one of the things that it says in there when you're doing breathing work is to tell yourself, the air is nothing but love. Whenever I'm doing, whenever I'm getting my blood pressure read, whether it's at a machine here at the house or in the store or at the hospital or with my primary care physician. That's the mantra I say while that thing is squeezing my arm and making that horrendous sound, probably elevating all of our blood pressure. But I keep putting that thought through my head. The air is nothing but love. And you're breathing that love in. It's filling, it's filling your lungs full of love. And what you want to do when you exhale, you can breathe out that which no longer serves you. You know, if there's, when you inhale, you feel something perhaps, you know, in maybe one of the lower chakras or something that's not serving you anymore. Let it go. Okay. So um, it, what it's telling me too, I'm not doing this as much as I used to. I still do but not as much as I used to. Air magic, meditate. Yeah, get it. Get your meditation in. And there's a number of, I have a whole page, a category designed just for med meditations. I've got guided meditations. I've got meditation ideas, things you can do, water, shower med meditations, all sorts of, an op a third eye meditation, how to open your third eye, um, tons and tons of meditations on n5b.com. So uh, look into that, you know, getting back into meditating. Um, lastly, I think, I think this, the air magic is a reminder to use the magic of air. And what do we do when we sage? We go around and you know, I cover every perimeter of each room and then around my house as well. Uh, you do whatever you have to do and how you do it. You know, the, what I'll say is something along the lines of, I demand that any negative energy leave immediately. You're not welcome here. Only those of the highest vibration of truth, love, and light are welcome. So that by saying it that when I repeat that over and over and over all throughout the house and by saying it that way, you know, you're not excluding like say, like my sister, Lola, she's no longer with us. If she wanted to appear, I don't want to block her or my grandparents or, you know, so 
Only those of the highest vibration of truth, love, and light are welcome. That's included in my smudging. So use that air magic. Get out, smudge. Make sure you meditate. You know, work on your breathing. If you're shallow breathing, just try to take a couple day, uh, a couple, a uh, couple times throughout the day. To inhale, the air is nothing but love. Exhale, that which no longer serves you. And I think it's going to make your week be incredibly amazing. So we'll see what it does for me. Thank you, darling. Do you find that? I know you have the, the hiatal hernia. You probably shallow breathe a lot. Yeah. But, Every now and again, I do do a deep breath, though. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and I don't do it as much as I should. I know that. So yeah. I think that's just... It's uh, important. Yeah. And meditation. Meditation, you can do meditation with your eyes open. Um, it's basically switching off the radio, switching off the TV... Um, switching off your iPhone um, or whatever and just being still so that means in the bath does that make sense when you're having a bath uh, when you're washing up when you're in the loo you know it all of those times it's that's when your spirit guides want to come and talk to you is when you're in stillness um, if you yeah. fit with noise and stuff they can't get through to you. So meditation doesn't have to always be closing your eyes and doing That's that. That's true. And, and, you know, and it could be sitting at the beach. It could be fishing. You yep. could be doing just getting lost in, in, in just nothingness. Um, I do have an open eye meditation on in 5D. And what you do basically on that, you envision like to your left and to your right, or you can put literally two bottles about six feet apart from you on a diagonal and about six feet apart from each other. So you're making like a six foot triangle basically between you and these two objects. Try to focus on both bottles. It's impossible. What happens? Your left brain and your right brain cancel each other out and you think of nothing. So that you want to figure if you're, if you have an overactive mind and you want to clear it quickly, that's how you do it. Um, and you if, just check out open eye, meditation on n5d.com if you want to use that for a reference but that's basically all you have to do that's clever mm -hmm. cancels that's really everything clever. out yeah yeah no oh. i love you i love you too the other thing you can do is just to stop and just listen to five different sounds um in your house that brings you to now right now centered so like a fart, a belch. <laughs> Stomach <laughs> rumbling. <laughs> Stomach rumbling. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, oh, I feel hungry. <laughs> so water signs, we'll be doing Scorpio. Um, so Scorpio, then Pisces, then Cancerians. And then we'll All finish right. off with the first signs. Right on. All right, so I've already picked some cards. Um, so the beginning of the week, um, we have the Six of Cups, which is um, sometimes feeling as though, um, you know, things are a little bit out of balance, maybe in relationships around you. Um, it could be that you're giving, 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 and you're not getting very much back. Now, sometimes that's okay. Every now and again, there might be people around you who are going through something really bad and they need... Um, you know they need comfort they need you to be there for them um and that's okay but is it if it's every day 24 7 that you are giving and giving and giving and there isn't anything coming back there should be a steady flow of energy back and forth one person giving the other person receiving the other person's giving the other person's receiving and that is kind of very healthy does that make sense in relationships so i think they're going to be weighing up um, that type of relationship energy around you. Who are you giving to and are you receiving enough back? Um, and that doesn't mean it's a competition. It's kind of a more of a generalized feeling because you might be feeling a bit um, disheartened with things. And it's like when you look back and you think, why am I feeling like that? It's like, I know why. Um, now I've looked at it, I can get it. 
Um, so it might just mean that you just have to say something. You just have to um, explain it um, maybe to loved ones and say, hey, guys, you know, um, I feel as if I just need you guys to even say thank you to me or acknowledge that I've done something nice. Um, you know, it's just common courtesy. OK, because there's a feeling of um, for I think for some people, you may be sick of asking for them um, to show you respect. Um, so that means that you're going to be pulling back and saying, Do you know, what? I'm not doing it anymore. Actually, um, I'm going to pull right away. Um, so there may be a little bit of that. OK, going on with you the beginning of the week. Um, it's like you're going to be blocking certain people. Um, so the middle of the week, um, there is the mischievous you coming out. It's like, I'm going to do something naughty this week. Um, now, for some people, naughty might be going to buy a box of chocolates and eating them all. Um, for some other people, it might be having a drink or two with the girls um, and having a late night. Um, it doesn't matter what your naughty is, but it feels as if it's like I've got to let my inner child out. OK, I can't be sensible all the time. I need some in my life. Um, so you're going to be directing your energy forward. You're going to be um, catapulting yourself now to uh, to something um, that is going to have got high vibrational energy, basically. Um, your life is a bit on hold at the moment. Um, so there seems to be a lot of things that you're waiting for, waiting for this, waiting for that. Oh, you know, um, that's there's a delay on on that now. So, you know, so it's in between things being busy, busy, busy. Um, it's like getting up to all sorts of going on. Now, at the end of this um, next week for you Scorpios, um, there's going to be decisions about money. OK, so you've got the Ace of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles here. Ace of Pentacles sent. Um, and that is new money or new job, promotion, extra responsibility within a job, um, changing the, the energy of a job, changing your hours, um, getting something extra, maybe doing another business, um, earning money in a different way, um, getting some money through that you wasn't expecting. So, yeah, it feels as if there's some sort of changes. But um, with that, it, with that seven, that feels like a gamble. Now, should I do this or should I do that? Should I carry on doing what I was going to do? Or, yeah, so there's going to be some changes happening there. Um, there's a feeling here of setting up some boundaries. Um, maybe it's time in your life to say, well, I'm OK with that, but I'm not OK with this now. Um, and um, making yourself happy. OK, because um, it is about joy and happiness in this lifetime. And you are um, deserving to be happy, deserving to be loved. And um, it's the week for you. So you're going to be balancing it out, I think, Scorpios. Over to you, my love. Hi, baby. Hello. Baby. All right. So for our Scorpio friends for the 27th of June through July 3rd, our Geminian friends also got this earth magic and so as i mentioned with them this has a lot to do with grounding and perhaps this might be a theme we'll see throughout these uh weekly tarot predictions um, but we're getting grounding why would we need to ground right there's a lot going on there's a lot going on and even when there's not a lot going on the importance of grounding still remains because you want to clear yourself. You want to be centered, right? Take the time to smell the roses, as I mentioned beforehand. Um, you might want to plant a tree or pick up litter. You know, that that's creating magic. It's making the earth better for all of us when you, uh, you know, if you were to plant a tree or, you know, there's garbage on the ground, you pick it up. I had some magic happen with garbage that one time, uh, about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So I got to pick up garbage, put it in the garbage can. I go, thank you. And he didn't have earbuds on or anything. He, he didn't hear me. I said it again, even louder. Thank you. Nothing. So I, th I think that there may be incarnated angels, perhaps on earth or 
there's a different vibratory level that's going on. Um, some people may be evolving into that fifth dimensional space right now. Um, so, you know, make sure that, you know, you're doing the positive earth magic, like planting a seed, planting a tree, picking up garbage. I recommend also the walk of gratitude. Invite your posse in, whatever and whoever your posse is. Mine is creator, uh, universe, creator, source, spirit guides, guardian angels, friends and family on both sides of the veil, galactic neighbors and friends, higher self and mother earth. Invite in archangels, invite in Jesus, Buddha, whoever you want to invite in. Take away anything that I have in there. Make it yours and own it, but contact them. And what I do is I use Ho'oponopono. I incorporate the Hawaiian code of forgiveness. Um, and then I end up asking while I have my posse's attention, right? Please uh, help me turn on all the beneficial codons in my RNA and DNA so I can heal myself and others in humanity's best interest. That's my biggest passion right there. Besides bringing Star Family together and being with the love of my life, Allie, you know, what my, my main job right now, bringing Star Family together in 5D. And if I could do anything, I'd love to learn how to turn on all the beneficial codons in my RNA and DNA. We only have 20 of the 64 turned on. So if I can turn on the other 44, I could do anything. You could do that too. So take whatever I've done, twist it around, make it yours, own it. And maybe you'll be the one that figures out how to do this and can save the world. <laughs> also, what I was thinking too is, you know, I'm looking at this and there's the full moon right there. And I'm thinking, well, in two days, well, on the 28th here in the United States, there's the official new moon that's going on. And on the 29th in Europe, it'll be the new moon. So it's late night here in the United States that the new moon occurs. And it would be like early morning in Europe that you guys have the new moon. And the new moon means uh, new beginnings and new cycles. So what you might want to do, and this could be anyone too, but I'm speaking specifically because I think there's some Scorpios out there that really need to hear this. Uh, write down your goals and intentions. Uh, visualize planting that seed into the earth, right? And then, and then, then visualize attaining that goal as if it's already happened. Feel the energy of what that's brought you. And uh, I think that that's going to help you manifest through earth magic what it is that you're trying to bring to fruition. That's what I got, baby. And thank you, Phil, for the super chat. Thank you so much, Phil. Thank you. Yeah. And um, and thank you, UFO Mark. It's been an amazing moderator there, um, putting every, everybody's bits and pieces up. So thank you. And, and promoting Phil as well, which we love. So definitely yeah. check out Phil Christopher's um, 68 on YouTube. Um, yeah, he's got some wonderful bits and pieces there. Uh, we've got some Egypts back, darling. Yeah, Stanley. I saw you, you. You got it that time. Thank you yeah. for catching that. You know how to block them from the other end, though, don't you, as well, I think. Yeah, I, I go to their channel and I block the channel as well. Yeah. So, yeah. We, you have to we show me them. how to do that because then I can block the channel well, as well. Well, actually, it's changed because I went to that person's channel and... and there's no option to block. It says unblock user. So that person's been blocked. You did exactly what you had to do. Oh, yeah. okay. Very good. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right on. So, um, so that was Scorpio. So hi to Julie Marie. Um, remember anybody who wants to be part of the free raffle, just for hanging out with us today, um, please just say raffle, please. And I will add you to, um, the free raffle and i'll draw it at the end of today so so there you go um i've also started a healing um list okay so there's lots of people on it already <laughs> so it's brand new um so we're going to be sending out some healing energy to anybody who feels as if they need it mentally physically um emotionally spiritually okay so i'm going to write my name on there
So if anybody wants me to add their name, you let me know. Okay, so um, where are we now? Pisces. So this is this is my sign. Pisces. Okay, let's have a look and see what's going on with Pisces. Okay. Um, I want on a healing list. Uh, do you want me to put you down as galactic goddess? <clears throat> okay. So concentrating now on Pisces, 27th through to the 3rd of July. Okay. So me and my mum. Scorpio was my youngest daughter, Rhea, um, and this is um, me and my mum, okay. Please write my name and my tribe, okay. So I'll do those in a minute. I'll do those after I've done this, I promise, okay. All right, so yeah, keep adding your names, names on there. Um, how you want it to appear on the healing list, not that it really matters. Um, because the intention will be there. Okay, um, so the full card is all about stepping off the edge into the unknown. Okay, so the beginning of this next week, um, it will be, oh, I don't even want to give this because it's my sign, um, an unexpected tower moment will be starting off your week. Something that um, is going to shake um, shake things up it doesn't have to be directly at you it could be somebody um around you uh, but it seems to be a bit of a, an eruption time you know something that is is going to be changing things okay um i'm seeing um that you're going to have to take that leap of faith though you're going to have to do something about it that just feels right um, and with that, um, it's the moon energy. So sometimes we have to see what isn't good in order to see what's, um, yeah, to see what's, you know, we've got to see the, the good and the bad, basically, in life. I think that's the, the easiest way I can say that. Um, we have to see the both. Otherwise, we don't know what um, good is. We wouldn't know. Okay. Um, so moving on to the middle of the week, the middle of the week, um, I'm seeing you wanting to do things perfectly, wanting to do things um, the right way, wanting to make sure that everything is done um, orderly. OK, so I feel that that is um, going to be linking to um, either study, linking with researching, linking with a job that you're doing, a project that you've got going on. There's something that is happening, I feel, um, around that, okay, around that time, uh, the middle of next week, where you're wanting to make sure that it's all perfect, okay, um, and to get things moving, all right, with, uh, with your life. There's also a fatherly character, a father figure, um, and that fatherly character seems to be um, um, making a, an entrance of some sort. I'm seeing fatherly character making an entrance. Um, you know, and I'm not sure for some of you, it will be, um, that's a good thing. You know, somebody showing up and wanting to take care of you or someone showing up may be a bit dominant. Does that make sense? And there may be, um, some issues going on there. Um, but this week is going to be about dealing with things that have been, um, swept under the carpet, I'm afraid. Okay. By the end of the week, I'm seeing everything clearer. OK, I can see where I'm going now. I know what's what. Um, that's to my direction. Here we go. Um, you know, I'm racing ahead now. Um, I've got away with with anything that I didn't need anymore. Um, I've got away with all that. Uh, and that is is now no longer needed. And um, Greg, the chat, darling. Got it. Um, <laughs> thanks, love. Um, and it's dealing with, it's, it's like you're dealing with anything that isn't, there isn't needed anymore. You're shedding that away and you're going on to bigger, better and more perfect um, way of living, really. Um, your spiritual energy is rising up. You're going through, it's like a huge hurdle 
um, that you are either helping somebody close to you um, with it or someone else's. Okay, it's like you know you're you're part of it. You're part of this. Um, it's like a bit of drama, I'm afraid, going on there. Okay, but sometimes we have to rise above things, and sometimes we have to see what's happening. Um, and it's all to do with the way that you handle things as to how long it stays in your life, how long it kind of um, sits there and creates kind of bad energy. Okay, um, but you you know it's going to be sudden. Um, it's going to be involved, then not, okay, by the end of the week. So here you go. Sorry. <laughs> not a perfect week for Pisces. Over to you. How dare you not give yourself a perfect reading? Sorry. <laughs> that okay, means I have to I, deal with it too. Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to... I'm going to add um, the people down to the healing list who have put there, just so that you know, while I'm um, letting Greg do his thing. Okay. Okay, my love. Well, seeing a pattern here. Um, you know, I've, I've got all these cards, right? And what did I draw for you guys? Well, you guys got the gratitude and thanks card. And maybe this is one that needs to go out there. Um, equally as important um, with gratitude and thanks. So Aries, I believe, had that as well. And it's time to put out there um, your, your, your gratefulness, you know, and sometimes that's overlooked. You know, many times it is. And, you know, I'll tell you, you know, when, when I go to the beach, I envision the best three parking spots available. And oftentimes, one of those spots is, and as soon as I pull in, thank you, universe. I say it's out loud, thank you, universe. Um, the little things in life to be thankful for, you know, your health, even if your health isn't optimal, you're here, you're with us right now, you're listening, you're part of this amazing epoch in time that we're all about to witness you know and if your money isn't where it should be you know and be grateful for what you have right now and also take the time maybe to envision um, the life you want and feel as though you've already attained that um, you know and that that will help bring that and manifest that into your life um, it's a reminder to say thank you and as I mentioned with our Aries friends, it's the attitude of gratitude. It's really important to have. I mean, look at the joy on her face. She's got the butterflies flying around, little kitty at her feet. Some, some things that you can do for yourself too is you can, if you're able to, dance. That'll make you feel grateful and happy. And it'll bring that, that those positive emotions out, out with you that help magnify the gratitude. Also, treat yourself to something nice. Maybe as simple as a bath, like with Epsom salt and some baking soda. Uh, I know I've I've brought selenite into my bath. They say, "Oh, don't do that because it'll you know, disintegrate." Great, I'll buy more. <laughs> you know. But uh, I, I want that in my bath, you know. So that's just, you know, a couple things that you can do. And as I mentioned, once again, to the Aries, you'll see that when you have gratitude and thanks and you're appreciating all these little things that are going on, especially, you know, for other people, you know, if you can do a random act of kindness for somebody else, like what Gracie went and did um, for buying the T-shirt, for coconut, that, that's wonderful. That's beautiful. We love seeing that. Um, when you do stuff like that, it comes back to you tenfold. So just a reminder to our Piscean friends, do that attitude of gratitude. Allie's doing it right now. She's got this contest. She's given away a free reading, 30-minute reading, and a couple mystery gifts. That's what it's all about, baby. Attitude of gratitude. 
that's it. I am grateful. So I'm yeah. yeah. But sometimes oh. we need these reminders. As obvious as they may be, sometimes we just need them. We need them because, you know, there's so much on people's plates right now. And, you know, sometimes we overlook the little things in life that are important. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. We do. So look, guys, we've got some names now coming up on the healing list. So. Yeah, I could be on there. Throw me on there. You want to be added? Yeah. Of course. Yeah. I'm still in the healing process of all this stuff that's going on. Just throw me on there. You're on there. Throw me. Mom, I've added you on there, of course. I've had Vera on. Yep. Oh, Linda, I am grateful. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, they're back again. How do they get back on so quickly? Uh, it's a different account. It's very similar, but different. Whoops. Another one. You doing it? Yeah. Thanks, love. I don't know. I don't know. It's like, do you think they're bots? Do you think they're bots or do you think Definitely. they're people? Yep. Bots. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, if they are bots, they're allowed by YouTube. You know, that's how I see it. Otherwise, they would uh, have. Lisa reported them. I reported the previous one, and I'll, I'll report this one too. Because otherwise, it just keeps going on and on and on, doesn't it? That's the trouble. Yeah, bots. Thank you for reporting them, anybody. Oh, there's another one. You've got it sorted. Yeah, they're they're all done. They're all. There's another I'm, one there. I'm, no, I'm on, I'm on the N5D page right now, and I'm unless it's on your page, that's it could be on the psychic alley it page. It wouldn't let me block them, so I had to put them on timeout. What? They're still showing up on the list. Um, oh, who okay. else wants to be Amanda Price? Amanda, I'm putting you on to the healing list. Whoops. And whenever I'm live. I'll obviously put some energy and ask for everybody else's energy um, with this. Okay. So we're going on to now um, Cancerians. Okay. And then we've just got Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorns after that. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're not bothering you on your page. Um, I don't see any on there. It's, so well, it's I can see one clearly. I've just tried to block it and it's like not letting me. On your your psychic alley page, uh, it's, I just put it in timeout instead. Yeah, no, on this it. chat on here. No, no, they're they're on the N five D one, but I don't see them on the in, uh, the psychic alley page, uh, YouTube page. Anyway, they're gone. Yeah, that's Can't good. Not see them anymore. We'll get oh. them. Hey. Yeah. Okay, so um, Cancerians. All right, let's have a look and see what's going on with Cancerians. All right. All right, so let's have a look. Cancerians. 27th through to the 3rd of July. Okay, so this is my other daughter, Megan. Hello, Megan. Oh, thank you. So Phil's offered, um, Ali, please share the list with me and I will include it in my Reiki shares. That's really kind. So everybody, um, you're going to be included on a Reiki share with uh, a lovely Phil Christophers. So um, if you want to follow Phil, Phil, um, I think uh, UFO Mark's got your, I think it's Phil Christophers and a number. <laughs> so um, if you wanted to follow Phil, then please um find Phil Christopher's on YouTube. Okay. Okay, so we've got celebration of achievement coming up around the beginning of the week for Cancerians. It's like, yes, 
Um, so if you've done, if you've got any exams or you've got anything going on, um, then it feels good. Okay, there seems to be something. Um, it, it's something good in your life that you're going to be. You can't help but smile. Okay, um, there seems to be a little bit more of a balance going on, appreciation um, of uh, of people around you who have noticed that maybe they haven't been. Thank you for that UFO feel, um, um, Mark. <laughs> so they've put um, Phil's details there. Um, so, yeah, it's like, um, finally, I'm getting some gratitude for doing what I'm doing. We don't do things for that reason, but sometimes it's kind of nice to get that that feedback back, isn't it? It's kind of nice to have that that flow of energy. It kind of just makes it, you know, your heart sing. Um, so I feel that there's going to be something very strong happening the beginning of the week where you're going to be feeling as if you're smiling um, because you are being noticed. OK. All right. So um, around the middle of next week for Cancerians. OK, so um, I'm seeing keys opening new locks. Um, so that could be to do with your home. Um, it could be a new business. It could be um, somebody's moving. Um, I'm seeing lots of boxes and changes going on as well um, around um, you guys, Cancerians. There's a lot of hard work. It's like I just can't keep up with the how, how much work is happening um, and what I've got to do and I can't keep up, you know, that, that kind of feeling. Um, but, you know, when you're working hard, but you know that you can see the results and the results are um, amazing and you, you're smiling. OK, so, um, so yeah, that's kind of the um, middle of the week. By the end of the week, OK, by the end of the week, we've got either a windfall or we've got something brilliant happening. OK, by the end of the week. OK, something really amazing. OK, um, it can be linked to money or it can be just like a, a good luck thing um, coming to you. I'm seeing filling out a form or a document as well. Um, and it's like something to do with juggling money or changing some money around, um, coping with money, um, doing what you need to do uh, regarding your finances. OK, filling out documents and, um, you know, your money starts to change or go in um, the right direction. So so that's what I see for Cancerians. OK. So um, I'm going to add you guys to the healing list. Uh, Gypsy JJ um, Fern, hello. We'll do. And um, hello to Leona. I love you. Wow. Just the healing list is such a, I love you too. <laughs> a beautiful idea. It's, yeah. yeah. We're all so lucky and fortunate to have Ellie in our lives and just the perfect addition to N5D and I'm going to block that person right there anyway okay I think I got it so uh, the card I got for our cancer friends is an, an appropriate card because uh, cancer being a water sign. This is called tears of joy and sadness. And look at the card. How many times? Let me put it over here. Like, like this. Um, yeah, like that. How many times have we been this person? You know, you try to put on a smile and face to the world, but you feel like this, right? And you try to put your best foot forward and you try to be positive, but there's some kind of heartbreak going on. And I feel that some of you guys, some of our cancer friends may be going through that this week. It, there's something you're trying to put on that happy face for something that's going on. It's really difficult to do. And it makes you think about some of the struggles that we've all been through. 
gosh, I know it. You know, diverticulitis, colostomy, reverse colostomy, incisional hernia, incidental appendectomy, quadruple bypass surgery. This is all in the last year and a half for me. I feel your pain. Whatever you're going through, I feel it. And I, I totally get it. And I understand putting that smile on and your best foot forward. And sometimes it's difficult. Did you survive? Did you grow from the experience? Did it make you a better person? I'd like to think yes. Sometimes when one door closes, and this often happens, another door opens. So, and as I, you know, I, 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 I wish there was a happier card than this, but that is the happiness. Something the there's some endings that are going on for our Cancerian friends. And uh, with the new moon co coming here in the United States on the 28th and in Europe on the 29th, you've got an opportunity for some amazing new beginnings. In the meanwhile, it's okay to be sad. One of the things that Deborah Blake recommends is to take two goblets or two glasses of water. Here we go again. Hang on. All right, got it. What Deborah Blake recommends is to take two goblets or glasses of water, one being full and the other being half full. And I'll read you what she says. What you will want to say is God and goddess Please help me to find and keep my balance in this challenging world. And then what you want to do is pour the water from the fuller glass into the emptier one until they are as close to even as you can get them. And then pour a little back. Do this a few times and when you feel that you have a sense of balance, sip a little from each glass and raise them to each other raise them each to the gods and thanks so you'll get through it it's the lessons you're gonna you're gonna learn are invaluable and chances are you're gonna end up in a much better place this isn't for everyone this isn't for all of our cancer and friends but some of you are really needing this message right now and i feel you 100 percent I know where you're at. I know where you're coming from. It will get better, I promise. Doors will open, and you got a great opportunity with the new moon to create those new beginnings. So it can be really, really exciting for you, and I, I hope it's an exciting journey and with lots of blessings. Allie? Hello, my darling. What's happening is you're blocking one, it's coming up twice, you're blocking one, but it's the other one stays up. And the only thing I can do is to put them in time out because they won't let me oh. block them. So I don't gotcha. understand it. Oh yeah, I see, it says block for five minutes. Yeah, so that's why it's gonna keep coming up, unfortunately. Yeah. But on, no, well on, on um, my, my page, it says they're locked. Well, it was still showing up on mine. Just five minutes, yeah, not just for five minutes. It's they're no. blocked. There was two, two of the same message. They both, and they came up. One, Deleted. one was still there. Yeah. Yep, we got them. They're good. They're, they shan't be no more. For five minutes, <laughs> then they'll be back. Okay. So um, yeah, so we're going on to the last ones now, which is Taurus, and then Virgo, and then Capricorn. Okay. Okay, so Taurus. Um, Taurus, everybody seems to be doing things around the home. I mean, this card has come up a lot. Um, so it's all about building something better, building something that you want, okay? Either to do with um, sorting out your home, um, sorting out a business, sorting out your your room, wherever you're living. Um, keys opening new doors opportunities coming up 
um, for you to do with money and work. That seems to be kind of the general thing that's going on this week, okay, with everybody. So that it's like the, the vibrations are getting higher and higher, okay. Um, I'm seeing a lot of hard work around you. It's going to be very busy, busy time. Um, that busy time is going to be um, pushing forward, okay, um, with, you know, it's like, right, a list of what you've got to do. I've got to do that, then this, then this, then this. So it is quite busy, but it is fulfilling um, busy. So I can see um, um, somebody boxes and, and I'm seeing moving. OK, I'm seeing removal van and I'm seeing them, um, you know, moving from one place to another. Um, there's that could involve, um, you know, helping someone else to move. Does that make sense? But there's definite movement energy around you guys um, there. Um, I'm seeing um, new keys opening, new doors that could be these opportunities are going to keep you very busy. By the middle of the week, we've got that success card. Loads of people have been having the six of wands. OK, there is always whenever we do these every week, there's always a card that just keeps reoccurring and just keeps coming up. So um, for this week, it's about, yes, we've done it. Um, so I feel as if there might be a global thing happening this week. Uh, where um, there is something um, out there that everybody's going to know about. Um, I can see emotionally having to let go, walk away from someone or something. It's like I can't do this anymore. I'm done. Um, so unfortunately, there's going to be um, kind of just a feeling of, of um, um, lost a little bit, okay, to do with a person. So um, it could be an emotional situation, but for a lot of them, I think it is to do with, you know, um, there's somebody who keeps letting me down. There's someone who keeps saying, yes, I'm going to do this for you, or yes, I'm going to do that, or we'll do this, or I promise you, I'll never do that again. And it's like, and all this time, you're going to be going, I can't do this anymore. I can't believe that they're going to say that. Um, that doesn't feel right to me. So, so yeah, unfortunately, I think that you're going to be kind of pulling away from, um, you know, people that are, um, you know, just not on that vibrational energy the same as you. Um, but that you're going to be proud of yourself for doing it as well. Very proud. Um, by the end of the week, everything seems to be a little bit kind of um, upside down. You're waiting. Um, things are pending and waiting. Um, and I feel that is linked to um, a character close to you who um, I feel they one minute they need you and the next minute they're pushing you away. And you don't know whether to go to them or whether to accept the fact that they don't want you around. You know, so you're in a bit of a limbo stage. Um, and I feel this, you know, for some of you, it's going to be to do with a child. Um, and for others of you, it's going to be to do with an adult who's acting like a child. There's this childlike energy going on here. Um, and, you know, they're they're rejecting, but there's definitely something deeper happening. And there's a need to maybe look into it more, perhaps be a bit of a detective and find out a little bit more about what's happening in their lives and why they feel that they're pushing you away. OK, there you go. That's what I see for Taurus. comes my love <laughs> okay to our Taurus friends so okay twice I've had air magic for Libra and, and Taurus right Taurus you got air magic twice I've had earth magic for Gemini and Cancer and then I had for gratitude I had Pisces and Aries for, for gratitude. So we're getting a message for gratitude, earth magic, and air magic. Um, but yeah, to our Taurian friends, you got air magic right now. And uh, what we're talking about is to get that breathing going and to meditate, you know, Get that deep breath, feel it down in the diaphragm, right? Hold it for a couple.
couple seconds and let it out when you're releasing that that air you want to uh, also exhale that which no longer serves you so um, that's really important because you're you're doing a cleansing on yourself also you know you're getting that deep breath in when i do that i do what uh, they recommend it's part of uh, what they write write in the four agreements um, about breathing uh, and it specifically says the air is nothing but love and i when i'm taking my blood pressure or if i or if i'm a doctor's taking my blood pressure that's what i'm thinking the air is nothing but love and you're breathing in that love and it's filling your lungs and you hold it and you feel it and then like i said you exhale that which no longer serves you get rid of it in that deep breath it's telling you to meditate taurians and librans both especially I mean, everybody probably should. I'm not going to say whether you should or shouldn't. I'm not big on saying you need to, but um, it's probably a good idea, especially for, so far, uh, those under the Taurus or Libra sign. I keep getting, you know, that's the message I'm getting for you guys. Um, one thing you can do, I do this sometimes at the beach, and I don't even think twice about it. When the wind is blowing, I just put my arms out and I take a deep inhale and I just smile and it feels so good. And people probably look at me like, look at that hippie, what the hell is he up to? I don't care, I don't care what people think. It just feels good. Go out there, enjoy, feel the power of the air just blowing. Hold your arms out, it doesn't matter what other people think. Lastly, I want to remind you to sage. Go through and do your saging. What I, I do, as I recommended before, I you want you want to, I, and this is basically what I say during my sage saging process. I demand that all negative entities leave immediately leave my premises immediately leave my home immediately whatever you want to say or do only those of the highest vibration of truth love and light are welcome here and you want to include that because you don't want to kick everybody out right you want like my my deceased sister my sister is no longer with us my grandparents you know who are no longer with with me you know i, I welcome them uh, galactic neighbors and friends they have whoever's in my posse that wants to visit me that's of a high vibration they're all welcome but anything of a negative vibration no and i smudge and i go through every the perimeter of every room and i repeat that over and over again so to our taurus friends go through and smudge do it now what are you waiting for <laughs> Actually, you can do it after this show. You can wait a little until after the show. <laughs> Once again, I'm seeing these patterns. I, you know, I've got, I've got Deborah Blake's. There's 40 cards in here, 10 for each element. I've had three of them repeat out of four. You got a one in 40 chance of getting the, a card, a different yeah. card. And I'm seeing repeating ones and like what you say, you know, these are also global messages when you see things repeat like this. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So Virgos. Virgo. Like the Virgo. Way you Virgo. Do we have any Virgos here? Virgo. Instead of Virgo. <laughs> Virgo. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's have a look and see what's going on with virgos this week okay and then the, the last of these um for the astrology and we go back to the sale uh, bits and pieces will be um after um capricorns okay so 
talking of Capricorns, the first card I picked out was Capricorn. You can see the uh, goat at the top there. Okay, so, um, so yeah, um, there's a Capricorn energy at the beginning of next week um, for you Virgos. Now Capricorns, they are um, self-employed, um, hugely, um, or they like to, um, to do what they want to do. Okay, they like to go and do um, kind of um, their own jobs. They like to be in um, completely independent. Okay, um, that's usually the uh, the Capricorn energy. Um, so that's going to be coming over with you. Is going to be um, maybe um, I'm thinking of starting a new business. Maybe I want to go self-employed rather than do what i have been doing okay so there could be some changes happening um for you okay um in the way of work or how you earn money i feel that there's going to be a chance for you to be a little bit uh, mischievous or step outside of the of the norm with you um so there's obviously something that's happening that is making you kind of think you know what? i want to try something different in my life you know, um, whatever I'm doing just isn't cutting it anymore. OK, so if you are Capricorns, you know, Virgos, you're very good at business. You're very good at getting um, thinking ahead, planning ahead, um, having a list of what you need to do. OK, you're very good at that. Um, so I'm seeing um, weighing up of two options um, on the money side of life okay um financially um i feel that there is going to be some big decisions about whether you either buy a new car whether you buy a second hand car whether you um go down this road or this road does that make sense financially so there's a lot of decisions there there's also an appointment or an official an official appointment or an important appointment okay or important meeting that's happening around the middle of next week um, there seems to be a lot of people nagging you, a lot of people trying to tell you what to do. Um, you're not listening anyway. Um, you have been trying to get through to other people and they've not been listening to you either. So nobody's listening to anybody. Um, and um, everything's happening um, a bit like a shit show around you, I'm afraid, uh, Virgos. Now, Virgos, you do try and keep everything orderly, keep everything going, you know, um, you know, knowing what's happening and and you know and you know follow me i know what to do and it's like um that's not working out that's not working out because nobody's nobody's doing anything okay so there's a little bit of a standstill going on there and i think that's why you're trying to make a decision about your own pathway um at the beginning of the week um you know basically because you haven't haven't got um you haven't got the patience anymore does that make sense with people who are just not kind of listening okay that's that's going to get to you um there is also going to be a lot of spiritual energy going on as well <laughs> yes yeah there's a lot of spiritual energy going on okay um and um an understanding of the of, of life okay it's like you're going within so because nothing is happening on the outside of, of life, it's like, well, I'll go within. I'll find out what I want to do. Um, you know, no one's listening to me, so I'm going to do it myself. Um, they're also showing me that there is some frustration around, um, that anger and frustration. Um, but I think by the end of the week, you are taking charge and you've decided I'm, I'm off. <laughs> I'm, I'm not hanging around anymore. I'm absolutely done. <laughs> so um, it's going to be good times for you, okay, Virgos, um, as long as you don't get down with other people's shite. <laughs> I think that's the, that's the answer. So they're not listening to you. Don't worry about it. Do your own thing. Dance to your own tune. That's what I feel is going on with you guys this week. Beautiful. Yeah. What was that? I'm sorry. <laughs> That's my girl. I love her. Okay. 40 cards. I could draw anything. Draw anything. Could be any one of these 40 cards.
Here we go. Here we go again. <laughs> Play it again, Sam. Gratitude and thanks. Pisces, Aries, and Virgo. You guys all got this. Gratitude. And I guess it's important to put it out there. Uh, gratitude and thanks. Um, what I'm getting personally through this card, and I'm, I'm feeling that a lot of people are feeling overwhelmed. There's a lot on your plate. Got holiday, major holiday here in the United States coming up. Our Independence Day from those fucking British people. The bastards trying to tell us what to do. Fuck them. Oh. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> but yeah, there's a lot of people that are <laughs> no, overwhelmed with uh, what's what's going on, you know, and even at the gas pumps, I've, I've caught myself doing this at the gas pumps. Yeah, I'm filling up and I'm seeing it $90 for a full tank of gas. And I'm like, Joe Biden. Uh, yeah, I, you, you can read my lips on the first word. Joe Biden. What I should be saying is I'm grateful that I have my car. Her name is La Amiga. <laughs> Thank you, La Amiga, for getting me back and forth safely. That I have a car to drive. And that I'm able to afford the gas that I put in it, at least for the time being. <laughs> <clears throat> Be thankful for what you do have. Um, if your health is not the greatest, there's still parts of you. You're still here. You're with us. You're part of this great awakening. Um, and you're holding as equal, as equally as an important role as anyone else in anchoring the light and your energy. Thank the parts of you, your body that are working. If you're uh, having money issues, be grateful for what you have. If you don't even have a car, you, you, you're but you're able to take public transportation back and forth, thank you, public transportation, for being available for me to get from point A to point B. Thank you for the home that I live in, even if I'm just renting a room, you know? Thank you for having a room for me to rent. It's a reminder to say thank you. You might even want to pay it forward with a random act of kindness. Maybe that's the message right now to have that, to do those random acts of kindness. Um, and it's not anything, you know, we've all done that. You know, you don't have to brag about it. Just do it and it'll come back to you tenfold. Just like any of this. Um, aw. I'm grateful for this wonderful man that has mended my heart. I love you, Mr. Prescott. Uh, I love you, Allie. Thank you, my love. What you put out will come back to you tenfold. And it's so simple. Just be appreciative and grateful, as I am like right now. So grateful. Right now we've got 41 people watching on either Facebook or YouTube. 41 beautiful family members and there's many more that will be watching on the recorded version and we thank you as well uh, just so grateful that you're all part of our family as we are, are part of yours so thank you to all Allie Hello. I love that uh, after after I basically sp spat on your queen by saying you F can. you all. This I is our... on my queen. <laughs> She's a uh, <laughs> bloody reptile. <laughs> the third time this has came up. What? I know. And I'll add, so add, add, add something in it. Uh, if I do that, I add, add in an extra card. Well, I haven't. That's Maybe I'll do that the next time. Yeah. Oh. Karina, hi to you both. I've just joined. Please pl place me on the healing list. I will do, Karina. No problem. I'm grateful for every time I step out, the universe 
meets me right there. Aww. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so this is the last one we're doing Capricorn now. Okay. So and thank you for all our Capricorn friends for waiting. For this. Yeah. Patiently waiting. Yes. Okay. So, um, thank you all for hanging out with us. I'm going to get back to, um, we're going to be opening. I've got four or five oysters left. So if anybody does want me to open an oyster for them and get a little pearl inside, I've got four or five left. Um, so the first five people, um, there's a necklace with it, um, 10 pound for the necklace and the pearl. So it's 10 pound for the both. Um, or it's three pound for the pearl. So yeah, anyway, that's coming up in a bit. All right, so let's have a look Capricorns. I hope it's not the six of wands again. <laughs> okay, it's the funny card though. Okay, so there's obviously somebody who is making you laugh, okay? This person is cheering you up, bringing you out of your comfort zone um they're basically making you feel as though you are um you know it's it's like light life seems to lighten up when they're around because they are triggering your personality they're triggering you um being that um that crazy character that, that you have okay so it's all is all there um um, so, you know, look out for that person who is going to be bringing out that personality in you. OK, now there is going to be somebody who has got sharp tongue. They can be a bit blunt with what they're saying. And I think that sometimes we have to kind of distance ourselves from certain people and hang around more um, others. So I feel as if there may be a change going on. OK, uh, with people that you hang out with. OK, which is going to you know make you feel better. Um, there's something about writing a book. So if you've ever wanted to write a book, then I think this is the perfect time at this moment. Um, this has come up to me twice, actually three times this week, where I've had people say that they have a brilliant idea for um, a story or a book. Um, and um, I'm, I'm picking up that... Um, um, Netflix, Netflix or, you know, Amazon, they are looking for um, those quirky kind of um, storylines. That's what they're looking for. Um, spiritual, psychic, that's going to be the new in thing this week. Um, so anything to do with magic or magical things. So if you're writing anything like that, then definitely um, it's a big thumbs up from the spirit world because they want some new um, energy out there. And I do think there is a shadow um positive shadow government um and positive shadow um people working in these places now um so it's not all doom and gloom and bad okay so they are infiltrating the other way now so they was um it's like um they're hitting them with their own te techniques okay um that's what's happening so there's going to be a little bit of dealing with things okay the middle of the week dealing with that um anybody who who appears to be um not working for the good guys okay um you're going to be um understanding who they are okay um around you um and just quietly pulling away okay um and that's what i feel i think this is to do with how you're going to look um how you're going to look and see um you know people that you're listening to people that you are watching um obviously youtube is now the new tv really um that's kind of what's happening nowadays um we're doing less and less of um you know the normal mainstream tv and the ratings are going down and down and down um so yeah it's a uh, pretty pretty <laughs> awesome um, there is going to be um, a decision over money matters, okay, coming up for you the middle of the week. Um, and it's something that you can't overlook. Um, you have to deal with it no matter what. Um, there is um, not a good um, feeling on one of the pathways. It's like you've got to steer away um, from something to do with money matters. It's not making you feel right. And you're going to stick to your guns. Maybe someone else wants you to do something and you're saying, no, I don't want to. OK, so um, there's going to be a lot of um, a bit of tension going on there. OK, and it's OK to disagree with people. 
it's absolutely okay. Um, when me and Greg do the global predictions, sometimes we don't see it exactly the same as each other. And I'm um, always right. And I'm always right. So it doesn't really matter, really. Um, <laughs> so, so there you go. <laughs> So, um, just just laugh it off. I say, just laugh it off. I say, laugh it could off. Be, I, say, I say, old chap, laugh it off. Could, could be that none of us are right. <laughs> could be, <laughs> and that's okay too. Yeah. How do, how do how do English people stick to their guns when you don't have any guns? I don't. I'm, just thought, thought to ponder. Yeah. I don't know. It's a very strange. Yes. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So um, lots of outspoken words at the end of the week. I'm seeing you're going to get your point across. Um, I feel as if you might be doing it in a sarcastic way, in a fun way. There might be some bits and pieces coming out. Um, it's a little bit of sarcasm here and there. But it's funny sarcasm. It's not horrible sarcasm. Okay. Um, I do feel that you are breaking free from some restrictions that have been going on in your life. And I feel this is personally, um, personal um, restrictions, um, perhaps restrictions that you've done. And now you're needing to move forward. Darling, do you want to check the chat? There's people um, chatting about something that they can't block or something. I'm sorry. Um, so, yeah, it's like some things that you feel as if you ha you have been um, stopped from doing or some things that, you know, haven't been available to you. Um, you're then going to be um, breaking free. OK, and moving on. And um, there's going to be a good feeling on that. OK, so it's like the judgment break free of it. Don't need it anymore. I'm done. Um, and then look out for. Um, look out for the new stuff that's happening, okay, in your life, because there's a lot going on. I do feel as if there's something to do with governments and something to do with, um, yeah, it's government energy and it's laws and things like that. So, um, but I'm definitely seeing you speaking out and standing up for yourself, um, which is perfect. That's what we need. Over to you, my darling. Uh, you're on mute. What did you say, baby? Uh, Vera's, Vera's help. And it's, this is happening on your channel, the Psychic Alley channel. And Vera, Vera's oh, we've got another one coming up here. Vera's helping Sarah, you know, with the three dots to block, you know, click on that and then block user. She's helping Sarah moderate. So oh. under control. Thank you, Sarah. And thank, thank you, Vera. Sarah. They've only just popped up for me, those bad ones. Has there been yeah. something before that then? Mm, I guess so. I don't know. I, I, hmm. I don't know. All right. Anyway. All right. All right. So for our Capricorn friends, I'm, I'm happy to show you guys a new card. <laughs> God, I was, I was expecting gratitude and thanks again. I'm trying to explain that for the fourth time in a different way. But you guys got prayers and wishes. And you see this uh, young lady at a wishing well making her wishes. So you know, if you think about it in witchcraft, you know, a prayer is basically a spell, right? You put those thoughts and intentions and send it out there. I don't know. It's very, very, very similar to that. Um, what I'm getting, though, is when, when, when you're putting things out there and you're asking for help, well, number one, remember that there is help available. A lot of, a lot of us don't take the time to talk to our spirit guides and our guardian angels um, on a daily basis. On a daily basis, I I would say it's less than 1% of the population that do that on a daily basis, right? I mean, and they're always there, 24, 7, 365. Time means nothing to them, but to us, they're always there. And that's one thing we could put in our add to our gratitude 
and thanks you know thank you to our spirit guides and guardian angels for always being there next to us helping us guiding us along the way what deborah blake recommends and she's the author of of the everyday witch and i i use her both her tarical and her oracle cards what she recommends is to think about what you really want and then at the first star of the night go out and say starlight star star bright first star i see tonight wish i may wish i might have the wish i dream tonight or i wish tonight yeah and say say that and make that put put it out there you know it's and it sounds so almost childlike but you're putting that thought and intention out there and it's it's so simple it is childlike simple but it works and that's all that matters she recommends this also and i'm going to read um, what she does well first of all you well you you write down what you want on a piece of paper right and then you say i pray for dreams and wishes true for help from from god's above i ask these wishes old and new with perfect trust and love and then you hold the paper in your hands and put all your energy from your prayers into it and then make it into the shape of a paper airplane and send it sailing out into the world so yeah send it out there uh, so it's really cool alternative if you just don't want to wish on a star you can do both if you want but um, know that you have that power uh, of uh, prayer and wishes you have to help so for a lot of you um, I think it's almost like some of you well for some of you it might be like a desperation kind of thing kind of sensing or that hopelessness perhaps or just a situation maybe financial financially or in your love life that has come to an apex and it's time for a change and you can help facilitate that change with your wishes prayers and uh incantations so good luck on that uh, it's exciting you have uh, some new possibilities right around the corner and that wraps it up for this week if ali wants to come back or not there she is i was eating <laughs> Thank you, everybody. That was brilliant.